Okay, I wasn't calling for anything in particular. I just wanted to talk to you. It's not that I'm bored or anything, not at all. Tuesdays are always a lot of fun. And Stacy got that right. Fucking Stacy. As if I didn't have enough work already. Anywho. Yeah, don't forget to book this year's destination, okay? Since you're not over busy working from home. No, mister, you're not fooling me. I know you didn't forget about it. Yep. I saw the catalogs on the table, Zach. Learn to hide your evidence, sweetheart. <laughs> and I also know how much you love these messages, but come on. Sometimes it's just a dream of you answering the phone so I don't feel like a crazy person talking to herself all the time. Shit. Jeff's coming. Okay, talk to you later. Love you. I get stuck again. Because of Stacy and her great habit of leaving work early. Yeah, as usual. You know, this time I had to proofread her whole paper before I went into print. Anyway, I'll be home in about an hour. Hey, could you please get the chicken out of the freezer for tonight? Thanks. See you in a bit. Love you. Zach, do you need anything from the drugstore? I just stopped to buy cigarettes and I'm looking at the beers right now. Ah, uh, well, if you could answer the phone, it might make things easier for me, but yeah, just call me back quickly if you want some. Oh, but please do check if there are any left before you make me buy new ones, okay? Love you. See ya. Since you haven't called me back, I assume you didn't want beer. Actually, I'm calling because I'm stuck in traffic right now. Can you believe this? Uh, another shitty day, yeah. Traffic at almost 8 p.m. What the fuck, right? That definitely makes me want to be on a motorcycle right now. And yeah, I know. You're always right, I know. But you don't need to get out all the motorcycle ads before I arrive, you know? I'm not gonna buy one today. Okay. Don't get too bored while waiting for your dear wife to crawl home. Love you. Hey, it's odd. I'm, I'm still stuck in the same traffic jam, but I don't know, something's weird. The cars are barely moving one inch an hour. First I thought it was an accident, but it looks like cops are inspecting the cars as if they were looking for someone. I wonder what's going on. Have, have you heard anything about a terrorist attack? Like on the radio or the paper? I really hope not. Call me back as soon as you can, okay? Please. traffic jam, but I don't know, something's weird. The cars are barely moving one inch an hour. First I thought it was an accident, but it looks like cops are inspecting the cars as if they were looking for something. I wonder what's going on. Have you heard anything about a terrorist attack? Like on the radio or in the paper? I really hope not. Call me back as soon as you can, okay? Please.
Breaking news. If you're planning on going in and out of the City of Roses, you'll have to be patient. Unexpected traffic jams have paralyzed the city of Portland. Many people are still trying to get home as we speak. The cause is still unknown, but Helen, I'm sure, is just another poor dog locked in a car. More on that later, but now, here's some jazz. Waiting for a bus, no explanation. I, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I, I had to leave all my work in the car. Like, how am I gonna get it back? <sighs> Something's really out of order tonight. Not to mention, you're not answering the frigging phone and it's really frustrating. What are you even doing? Did you get all the messages? If you're falling asleep, I will find out, you know. You always make such a mess on the couch and you never clean up and I. Oh. Wait. A bus has arrived. Wait. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it on the bus. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. What's the point of having a phone if you don't answer it? Uh, sleep at night, mister. Anyhow, I'm on the bus. It's supposed to take us out of the city. I, I don't know exactly where they'll drop us, but... I'll manage to find a way home. I think they got this under control. Whatever this is. The strangest thing is that no one even knows what's going on. Someone said he heard that strange things happen all over town. Did you hear anything back home? Is everything like normal? I don't want to sound alarming, but you still have the gun somewhere, right? It's still loaded, isn't it? I, I have absolutely no idea what it could be, but I've seen strange people standing on the side of the road like they popped out of nowhere and... Well, nothing. Yeah. Please call me if you hear or see anything, or even just to let me know you're not dead, please. The boss dropped us somewhere near Pinwheel Street, and they told me a shuttle to Campo Santo would come any minutes. I'm almost there, okay? Uh, an old guy said that aliens have come. That's what we're facing. That they're everywhere, and... God, that doesn't make sense, right? Aliens? Come on. He said crazy things, and he had like a panic attack, and some cops had to calm him down, and... Well, listen. According to a security guard, the shuttle will drop me in our street at 10 sharp. Please make sure you're here at 10 o'clock, Zach, okay? Please keep 
keep an eye on the clock and don't let me down. What would aliens even look like? That's that's insane. Just just call me back, please. Zach, wake up, please. Answer the phone. Okay, I finally got on the shuttle. I, I don't know why it arrived so late. That alien story spread and now everyone's convinced we're like invaded down here. I'm keeping my voice down because everyone's so tense. I can't wait for this night to end. Please, Zach, wake up and call me back, please. I really need to hear your voice right now. I don't know what led to this strange creature's bullshit, but please lock everything up, okay? And stay inside. Lock up the windows, too. You stay inside until I come back, okay? Don't let anything come in. Be safe.